Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are continuing with our coverage of Comfy UI, which is a graphical user interface, a node based system which you can use to create images with the help of AI models. So, in this video, the focus will again be on keeping it simple and doing one thing for our day to day work with the help of Comfy UI. If you want to learn how to install Comfy UI, what are the basic concepts in it i will highly suggest you to go to my channel just search with comfy ui and watch this second video which says easiest tutorial on comfy ui and i'm more than sure you won't be disappointed but for the purpose of this video the thing which we are going to cover is that for example if you have an original image like we have on the left hand side as you can see on your screen and with the text prompt we want to generate an image just like we have on the right hand side here which will follow the same pose and style as is the left one so for example if you have some images where you are making a v sign or something like that and you want to generate the same sort of image with the same style same pose with the help of ai where you will just give it a text image then how do you do that this is what we are going to see in this video in step by step fashion from the scratch. So let's do it. Let me clear the screen and we will start from the scratch. Now, before I move forward, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, coming back to Comfy UI, there are a few things which we which you would need before you do that. So first up, you would need to make sure that you have this realistic vision model or any model which gives you realistic sense of images. For that, you can go to Civit AI and download the model from here, uh, or you could go to Hugging Face and get the model from there. I'm going to use this realistic vision and I will, I already have downloaded this blue button here. Now, if you want to learn more about these models, what they are, please again watch that video on my channel which I pointed you to. So this is one thing you need and I will walk you through from the scratch and we will see what else we need. First up, click on load default here and this is going to give you a default workflow. And as I said earlier, Comfy UI works on the basis of nodes. So you see on the very left hand side, we have our load checkpoint. This is where you load your model. So I already have my model downloaded. So I'm just going to select the very last one that is done now next up we need to load the reference image so you can load any reference image of your choice double click here and then select this load image node and this is our load image node here i'm just going to click on this choose file to upload and then maybe select this pose curl here so this is the image which i have just selected now that is done I'm just going to rearrange these nodes a bit here so that you would know what is happening. Next up, what we need to do, we need to get something called as DW pose estimator. Now, if you, this is just a node in Comfy UI which you can get. So I'm just going to cut this DWP pose estimator and then put it here. From the output of this image, connect it to here and then we will this image will go into another node which i will show you shortly now make sure that you um, get this dw pose estimator from here you can what you can do you can also preview this image which i will show you shortly but let's not worry about that for now now what is happening here is that we have the source image we want to create an image from a text prompt with the same sort of uh, pose so for that let's first give it a prompt for the prompt let's call it maybe beautiful young woman with red hair wearing a skirt high quality and 8k and high resolution 
and you can of course change it as per your choice for negative one let me also put in some of the keywords here so you can see that i have put in some of the negative words here in the bottom clip text and code and positive ones at the top so the positive one means the things which we want in our image and the negative ones are which we don't so that is all done next up we need some control net nodes what is control net so you see we have this image we have this reference image we have this model which is going to generate an image based on this text prompt and this image how do we control the model or how do we dictate to this model to create an image in this style or in this pose for for that we need a control net model so let double click here and then just type load control net and we will have this load control control net model again you can simply go here and you will see that there is an open pose model you can get this control net 11 model open pose from CVTI, just search there and you will be able to get it. And this is, by the way, uh, Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. I'm not using STXL or Fluxstep. For that, you would need other control net models. So, because they are not compatible. Anyway, so now we have our control net model here, which we have loaded. Another node which you would need is called as Apply Advanced Control Net. Now, if you have just installed Comfy UI, you won't have it. That's a custom node. So you would need to install that first. For that, click on Manager on the right hand side, Custom Node Manager, and then search for Advanced or Control Net. You see, this is what you need, the Comfy UI Advanced Control Net. I already have installed, so I don't need to install it again but you will search it you will click on install and that is going to install it and then you would need to restart it from here and that's all you needed to do so i already have it so i'm just going to double click here and just say apply advanced control net and there we have our advanced control net let me put this one slightly below here these are the things which with uh, with these that we have to just play around with this Okay, so case sampler is here, which actually does the stuff for us for image generation. But anyway, we'll get to it. For here, you see that we have this positive negative here and all that stuff. So, which is for conditioning or for the text prompt. But first up, let's con connect this control net model from here to here. And the image will go from this DWP pose estimator to here. Also, you see that we are giving this positive uh, to case sampler just remove it from here take it here the positive prompt also for the negative prompt take it here and now take that positive prompt here and connect it here we are passing it through control at our prompts so that it will wear what it needs to control and this is our negative prompt and you see that latent image is already connected to this empty latent image. I already have done few videos on it. This is just an empty image which creates a latent space, which is an abstract uh, space where you create the image with the help of case sampler. So you see, anyway, so we have our clip text and code. We have our prompts ready. We have our model ready. We have our control net also configured with images and everything. Now. We need to set some of the parameters here. So starting from here, so we already have set our model realistic vision. We set our image that is good. Just keep it uh, DWP pose estimator as is. Control net model has been set. And then prompts are set. Advanced control net in this one. Um, strength is one which means that it is going to copy the whole uh, control net model and it will take the whole pose here now that is good and if you want to see what that pose look like just click here type on preview image here and then also move the image to here and it, when it will run it will also going to show you the image and we will see it shortly anyway i'll just move it down so that we will be able to see it when it runs how does the pose look like i'll just make it a bit bigger like this okay and then from here you see that we have so strength will be it will copy the whole pose here and then let's keep start percent as is we are just 
starting to apply from the start this pose and end percent let's keep it one here so we just want to apply it in full from end to end the whole uh, pose then we have case sampler now in case sampler let's set is fixed so that it won't generate image every time let's keep the seed as is not worrying about too much let's set the steps to 20 um, classifier or the guidance let's keep it to it so for the prompt adherence for sampler one let's go with dpmm to uh, dpm plus plus two m this is a con non convergence one it will be a bit creative from step to step and you can play around with the schedulers and samplers and if you don't know what these are uh, please search my channel i already have done a detailed video on sampler and scheduler so sampler basically generates image there are two types of them non-convergent and stochastic and these sort of stuff and then scheduler normally we either we go with uh, normal or keras so keras is better in my experience but you can play around with it and then once that's done we are just decoding the image from latent space let's delete this node and then we will just do the preview image so i'm just going to put it here and then put it here oh, sorry not this one i'm just going to double click here and click on preview image and make it a bit bigger so that we'll be able to see what is happening in this image here okay that is good and then join this image to here and i'm not editing this video to make it look pretty i'm just doing it hands-on so that because you will be also strutting and you know <clears throat> fumbling along like i am doing so that you would know that it's not a magic at all we all struggle we all fumble we all bump along the way and this is the thing with comfy where you can see already all of these links going from here and there it is quite convoluted but you will see that the end result is quite good and there are ways of making it good so but you can't really fit everything on the screen that is the problem with it but anyway so you see that we have reached until this point where we have this preview image and we so what we are looking to do we are looking to generate an image where we will have a beautiful young woman with red hair wearing a skirt high quality but we want that image to be in this pose that is our end goal right okay so let me click on q prompt you see it has loaded the model case sampler is running and there you go so now you see that it has generated something but it's not really uh, up to the mark so when that happens what you need to do you need to first see what happened in the preview image so you see the dw pose estimator has uh, identified it correctly so the pose is correct so just map this pose with this so legs are fine they are crossed uh, one hand is uh, at the head other hand is just stretched out on the side which is good so it means this is good so now um, our prompt is okay there are red hair skirt is there and legs are crossed but they're not uh, so legs are fine it seems but hand and side pose is not good enough so in that case just run it again run it few times until you get it right you see uh, just wait for it because i think high resolution and maybe i'll just say good quality let's wait for it okay so it is still going towards the side now in that case what we can do we can play around with our strength and start percent as you can see here first so how do you do that so you see strength is one let's keep the strength as is we want the pose but for start percent maybe i'll just go with some uh, maybe i'll just call it 0.15 that started from 15 percent and then let's keep it as is so let's click on q prompt let's wait for it okay so okay let me make it a bit bigger now one problem as you can see it is cutting the legs off there are various ways of fixing it but for now let's click on this height on this latent image and then maybe change it to 1024 so that we will capture the whole image so i've changed it let me run it again let's wait for it there you go so you see now it is much much better and if i just make open it 
and still it is bit malformed you see the arm so this is an iterative process so it is trying to uh, if you look at the pose it has followed the po uh, pose exactly right now what is happening here is that you just need to make sure that your prompt is proper and there you go so now what i have done is i have just uh, added one uh, here in the advanced control net i have just gone back to zero for the start percent so i just wanted to apply every uh, pose to the image so this is not this and now you see it has done it right so you see this is a thing with it that you have to play around with it so i have in all i have done is i have increased the height i have reverted the start percent and there you go so now we have perfect pose here where the legs are crossed so let me also bring it closer here so you see of course i mean it's not picture perfect you can do a lot of things with it still but not bad at all so for amateurs for day-to-day -day work it's not bad at all so you can play around with it you can create the exact pose so of course you can uh, do some upscaling you can do some ip adapter you can do some detailing there are a lot of options in comfy ui but as is the spirit of the channel and these series i'm just going to keep these things as simple as raw as possible so that if you are just starting out you don't have to really get bogged down by the details let me know what do you think about it if you need this workflow just reach out in the comments happy to send it across i will also see an option to just upload it somewhere so that you don't have to ask me uh, but i haven't really found any good place where i could upload these uh, workflows for free maybe i'll just create a github repo anyway let's see but that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching